Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Dominic Nikolai. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and consider subscribing if you do. So today, what we're gonna be doing is going into Chipotle to test whether or not we're actually getting the correct amount of meat that we're paying for when we pay for it. So I don't know about you guys, but every time I go into Chipotle, I find myself asking for a little extra meat or, you know, the full four ounces of meat, you know, the amount that they're supposed to give you every time I go in there. So today, that's exactly what we're gonna find out. I'm bringing my scale in there. Here's the plan. With me today, I have brought my trusty scale. I'm going to go in and ask for a burrito bowl to go, ask for nothing on it but chicken. Then I'm gonna come right outside with my scale to weigh the goods. Then we're gonna see if we're really getting what we pay for. But you guys have seen countless memes about uh, Chipotle not giving you enough meat and stuff like that. So if you've ever felt like you've gotten cheated or less meat than you should have, then this video is for you. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going into four separate locations with my scale. Like I said, you guys heard the plan. So location number one, let's get it. Hi, can I get a, a burrito bowl to go? Sure. With uh, just chicken. Okay guys, so you saw I just ordered, I asked for a burrito bowl to go with just chicken. Uh, to be honest, I'm actually very interested to make this video myself because out of all the years that I've been going to Chipotle, I've always wondered exactly how many ounces of chicken I've gotten. And I've even actually picked out the chicken of my order before to weigh it to see how much I've gotten. Sure enough, it was less. Um, but today, we're about to find out. So here's what I'm gonna do. As you can see, I have my scale. It says zero, but we're gonna go by ounces. So we're on ounces. I have the bowl, the weight of the bowl, 0.78, or excuse me, yeah, 0.78 ounces. I'm gonna tear it. So now, when I take the bowl off, it's going to account for the weight of the bowl. And here we have the chicken. So let's see, location number one. Wow, that is actually surprising. But maybe not because honestly, when I was when I was ordering this one, I uh, I noticed that they actually did give me a sufficient amount of chicken. So location number one is actually a pass. So guys, as you just saw, that was location number one, and uh, honestly, I'm very thoroughly surprised. I I'm because I'm more erring on the side of the fact that I am not getting the correct amount of chicken, and uh, I'm being cheated. So that was a surprise for me. Um, and again, when I'm ordering this stuff. I am not telling him I want the full four ounces. Can I have a little extra? I'm simply just asking for a burrito bowl to go with chicken. On to location number two. So guys, we are at location number two. Just gonna get a burrito bowl to go with only chicken. Yeah, just chicken. We just finished up at location number two and without even weighing it, I already know for a fact that they gave me more chicken than uh, they were supposed to give me, surprisingly. This is a very off day, two locations in one day and I'm actually getting the amount of chicken I'm supposed to get. So, once again, we're gonna go through the same process. You can just tell how much chicken they gave me right there. So again, I'm going to put it on the scale. I'm going to tear the weight of the bowl. I'm going to remove the bowl. I'm going to add the chicken. Wow, and we see at location number two, we have 6.14 ounces of chicken. So not only did they give me the correct amount, but they gave me an extra 50%. Location number two is a pass. Okay guys, so I'm gonna change up my strategy here a little bit. Now instead of asking for only chicken in a bowl, because that seems to be throwing them off for some reason, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna get a regular burrito bowl and I'm going to simply pick the pieces of the chicken out one by one to see if getting a regular burrito bowl affects the amount of chicken that I'm getting here. Another interesting thing to note here is that I wasn't aware of this, but actually when you ask for only chicken, they actually only charge it as a side of chicken, which mind you is still one single four ounce portion of chicken, so the same as a burrito bowl, but 
you ask for only chicken. It's charged as a side of chicken, which costs you $2.75. The reason I'm deciding to change up the strategy here, is, here a little bit is because my theory is that when I go in there and I ask for a burrito bowl to go with only chicken, I feel like the employee is seeing, you know, the typical amount of chicken that they would put in there. And what I've noticed for the past few times is that they put the amount that they would regularly put in, and then they add a little extra because I feel like they see just an empty void in the bowl, and they feel they feel a little bit weird about that, so they add a little bit extra. I'm gonna get a regular bowl, and I'm gonna pick out the chicken one by one for you guys, and we're gonna see the real scoop and what's going on here. Hope you guys are appreciating this because I'm driving all over the place for this. I'm gonna get a burrito bowl to go, and uh, I'm gonna do double rice and double beans. What kind of rice? Uh, uh, both. Both? Yeah, both. So double of both. Yeah. I'm just gonna do the the regular uh, chicken. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I can tell I got gypped hard at this location. And I think, again, it's because of the fact that I got a regular burrito bowl and I didn't ask for just chicken. So, as you can see, I have my bowl right here. I have my other bowl, it's on zero, and I'm gonna begin picking the chicken out. some extra beans uh, just to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna weigh it. And we have 3.03 ounces. So at this location, it was a fail. Not a big fail, but uh, we still got 25% less chicken than we're supposed to get. So um, not really a surprise. Let's get on to the fourth location and uh, see what they have in store for us there. fourth and final location and at this location I'm gonna do something a little bit different once again just to sort of vary the results here and uh, try and make this as accurate as possible I'm gonna get another burrito bowl this time with just rice and then on top of that I'm gonna get double meat hi I'm gonna get a burrito bowl to go with uh, white and brown rice and I'll get double double of both and then uh, no no beans and double, double chicken. No. So guys, you saw the order. Here is the final result. Now uh, let's get the total on this chicken. Again, I got double chicken, so there's supposed to be eight ounces of chicken here. Let's see if that's the case. ounces and again we'll give them the benefit of the doubt here we can put in a little bit of extra rice there we'll say 6.5 ounces so technically that is a fail uh, it's supposed to be eight ounces but uh, they're only short an ounce and a half so it's not too bad so it actually wasn't too bad they weren't short that much to be honest but technically it's still a fail but uh, all in all I got to say that uh, Chipotle's pricing structure is actually pretty fair to be honest. I mean, generally when I go in there, I ask for a lot of rice, a lot of beans, you know, fajita vegetables, salsa, stuff like that, uh, you know, of which if you ask extra for, it is not, you know, an extra charge to the burrito or burrito bowl. All in all, I think they have a very fair pricing structure. Yes, they might not always give you the true amount of meat that they're supposed to give you, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's, it just comes down to the employees. So maybe per perhaps a uh, proposed solution 
would be that they have like a scale that's built in to the, uh, the little workstation that they have. That way they can make sure that everyone's getting exactly four ounces, which is not more and it's not less than each customer is supposed to be getting. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. All right guys, so just a little bonus footage here for you, some fun facts. So today I actually learned that there's three types of ways that you can order something from Chipotle in terms of pricing. So at the base level you saw earlier, you have a side, a side of chicken that's 275. Above that, you have what's called a three pointer. It's actually what I got here. That's when you only get rice and you only get meat. It's with no sauces, no uh, you know sides or anything, just rice and meat. It's called a three pointer. So that's actually a lot cheaper than you know just a regular burrito bowl. Now, and above the three pointer, you have a burrito bowl, which is just the standard price, you know, six twenty-five or something like that. So the three pointer price, I believe, is about a dollar and twenty-five cents cheaper than um, you know if you're going to get beans and sauces and other stuff that is normally included in a burrito bowl.